This video presentation is represented by electrical4u.com, an online electrical engineering study site. Today we are going to discuss about resistance temperature detector even though it's not much used in modern industries. But where temperature detection is required in high accuracy, the resistance temperature detector is still used. The variation of resistance of a pure metal along with temperature is the basic principle of a resistance temperature detector or RTD. This variation of resistance along with temperature in a pure metal is given by the relationship RT equals R0 into 1 plus alpha T plus beta T to the power 2 plus gamma T to the power 3 and so on. Where RT is the resistance of the metal at T degree centigrade. R0 is the temperature of the metal at 0 degree centigrade. Alpha, beta, gamma etc. are constants. This is the equation upon which an RTD is based. The metal used for RTD must be pure enough otherwise resistance is temperature characteristics of the metal deviates from its original graph and consequently the temperature measurement would be erroneous. If platinum is used as the sensor of RTD, then purity of the platinum must be checked first before using it in the instrument. This is done by measuring the resistance of the platinum at 100 degree centigrade and the resistance of same platinum at 0 degree centigrade. For pure platinum the ratio of these two resistance values would be 1.39. Another cause of using pure platinum is that, this material is very inert in nature. That means chances of oxidation are quite low in platinum. This should I not react with the material of which the temperature is measured. For example, if we measure the temperature of a sulfuric acid bath by means of platinum RTD, the pure platinum would not react with that acid. If the platinum would have reacted with the acid, the temperature and resistance characteristics of the platinum would have been changed, which might cause error in temperature detections. Hence purity is one of the main criteria of the metal used as temperature sensor in RTD. The relation of resistance and temperature of a metal can further be approximated as RT equals R0 into 1 plus alpha T plus beta T to the power 2. As the higher order constants are quite smaller compared to alpha and beta. For platinum, the value of alpha is 3.94 into 10 to the power minus 3 per degree centigrade and the value of beta is minus 5.8 into 10 to the power minus 7 per degree centigrade square. The effective temperature detection ranges of RTD depend upon which type of metal used as temperature sensor. If platinum RTD is used, it can measure accurately the temperature ranges from 100 degree to plus 650 degree centigrade. If it is copper RTD then it can measure temperature accurately from 200 to 260 degrees centigrade. For nickel this range is from 180 to 430 degrees centigrade. And for tungsten it is from 270 to 1100 degrees centigrade. Among these metal, although platinum is most expensive but still platinum RDT is most commonly used in industrial applications as other metals mentioned here are not totally free from corrosion and oxidation. In this graph we have represented resistance temperature characteristics of different metals used in RTD. Here we have plotted the ratio RT by R0 along the y-axis and temperature along x-axis. This straight line represents the characteristic for platinum, which is quite linear on the other hand same for copper and nickel is not linear. This is another reason, why we prefer platinum as most suitable RTD material. Although tungsten has also linear temperature resistance characteristic but its slope with x-axis is lower than that of platinum, and that indicates resistance change per degree change in temperature is quite lower than that of platinum. This is why platinum is also more preferred metal for RTD than tungsten. Now come to the signaling circuit of RTD. In its simplest form one arm of a whetstone's bridge is replaced by an RTD bulb. And another arm of this bridge is a variable resistance. Now the RTD bulb is placed in the condition whose temperature has to be measured and balance of the bridge is done by adjusting variable resistor arm of the bridge. At different temperatures the resistance of the RTD sensor are different. 
the balance of the bridge is achieved at different positions of sliding contact of variable resistor. If the positions of sliding contact of the variable resistor are calibrated in temperature scale, we can directly measure the temperature of the place where the RTD bulb is placed. But main disadvantage of this arrangement is not free from contact T resistance of the variable resistance. As this contact resistance directly comes under the bridge circuit, it affects the reading of the temperature and it introduces error in reading. This drawback can be eliminated by using three wires RTD. Here the RTD bulb is connected as one arm of the bridge as shown. The third wire is connected to the sliding contact of variable resistance R3 via a galvanometer as shown. Here the balance is also achieved by adjusting the sliding contact on the variable resistor. In this situation the contact resistance of the sliding contact does not come under bridge circuit rather it comes under galvanometer circuit. Hence this contact resistance does not affect the balance of the bridge hence temperature reading would be more accurate. But still an RTD circuit suffers from two major drawbacks. One, when current flows through RTD bulb wire, there would be I square R loss which will generate heat and this self-heating of RTD coil may affect the actual temperature reading. Two, generally the RTD bulb is placed more than one meter away from bridge circuit. The resistance to the long connecting wires of the bulb with bridge also affects the reading. Thank you. Hope. You got a clear and basic idea. So, please do not forget to watch more technical video presentation, and many more, in electrical4u.com.